NASCAR Xfinity Series qualifying is officially concluded from Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and Brandon Jones has won his third pole of 2024. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to your video. As I just said a second ago, NASCAR Xfinity Series qualifying is officially concluded from Las Vegas Motor Speedway, and Brandon Jones has won the pole. This is Brandon Jones' third pole of the 2024 NASCAR Xfinity Series season. Put him, puts him up as one of the higher on the list of drivers who's won pole so far in 2024. Brandon Jones, we know, has been very, very strong in qualifying. I think his average finishes like 10th or 11th throughout the year. He's been very fast in qualifying throughout the 2024 season. The problem is the races have not been able to come together for him as had the pace and speed to keep up throughout the whole entire event. If he could keep up throughout the whole entire event like he showed in practice because he was the fastest car in practice, if he could keep that speed he had in practice and qualifying, I do think Brandon Jones is going to have a chance and opportunity before to get a win before he leaves to go back to Joe Gibbs Racing because remember he's headed back to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2025. Congratulations though to Brandon Jones on getting his third pole of the year. Had some good pace speed. His first pole since Dover, by the way. He also did one pole at Martinsville. We know he's good at Martinsville. We know he's pretty good at Dover. So he's going to have a chance to win. He's been good at Mar at uh, Vegas too. He's had most top tens at this racetrack. So I think he's going to have a good and capable car to be up front. Congratulations to Brandon Jones on getting his third pole of 2024. So now we're going to talk about all the top qualifiers, all the guys that made the playoffs, and talk about qualifying as a whole. So Brandon Jones wins the pole. Cole Custer qualifies second. Really great speed from Cole Custer. Had really good long run speed in practice. Had the best car in a 10 lap average from what I saw. So I expect Cole Custer to be really strong tomorrow. Would not be surprised if he got the same car that Riley Herbst had last year when he dominated the race. Really good speed from Cole Custer. He'll be starting in second position. Chandler Smith qualified third. Again, continuing to be very consistent and really, really quick. Starting up front, I think he's had eight or nine consecutive top three or four finishes, if I'm not mistaken. He's been very, very consistent. He's had some great race pace and speed. He's looking for his first Las Vegas win. He'll have a really good chance and opportunity with the 81 team tomorrow. Sam Mayer qualified fourth. He's been a little inconsistent in qualifying throughout the year, so to show that pace and speed he showed in practice and qualifying today gives me a lot of confidence and hope for Sam Mayer. He, of course, got the win last weekend at the Charlotte Robo. Really liked the speed he showed today in qualifying. He'll be starting in fourth. Good speed from Sam Mayer. Sammy Smith qualified fifth. Sammy Smith these last couple weeks has looked a lot better. He had an all right run at the Charlotte Roble. Of course, he did have that pretty good performance at Talladega getting, getting that win. And he had really solid speed in practice too. Junior Motorsports has come to play. He'll be starting fifth. Really good job by Sammy Smith. Justin Allgaier qualifies sixth. Really like the speed from Allgaier in the middle of the run. And Allgaier starting up front. Allgaier is looking to get it turned around and have a really strong run. I do think that Justin Allgaier is going to have a car capable enough to win the race tomorrow night. Really good speed from Allgaier. He's starting in sixth. Riley Hurst qualifies seventh. The defending winner of this exact race. He dominated and won the race by 11 or 12 seconds. I think Hurst is going to have a chance to repeat again. He was a little off in qualifying compared to his teammate, but not that much. He'll be starting seventh. Really good speed from Riley Herbst. Jesse Love qualified eighth. A little bit worried about the speed he showed in practice on the long run, but his short run speed was really, really not that bad. In the qualify inside the top 10, have a chance to get stage points. That's huge. If I remember correctly, in the spring, they just fell off on the long run, never had the long run speed. So that's something that does concern a little bit for me too. But nonetheless, really solid speed for Jesse. He'll be starting in eighth. AJ Allmendinger starting ninth. The best of the college drivers, not too far off the speed of the pole sitter, only being off by about three tenths. Not too bad for AJ. He has been a former winner at this track back in 2021, I believe. So AJ will probably have a car capable to be up front. And shout out to Ryan Seek qualifying 10th. Remember, in the spring, Ryan Seek actually had a pretty solid and really good car in that race. Had a good chance and opportunity to go for the win. So he'll be starting in 10th. Really good speed for Ryan Seek. Park Clergman qualified 11th. Not too bad for him. Not great, but not too bad for Parker. He's only three tenths off the pole speed, so pretty good for Parker. Eric Amrol qualified 12th. Coming into this race, he was my pick the wings. I do think that Eric Amrol is going to be very strong in the race tomorrow night. I think he's going to have a car capable of getting it done because the 20 car won the last time we were here. I think Nemechek qualified okay last time we were here too, so I do think he'll be up front. Just made a mistake in qualifying and lost a lot of track position. He'll be starting in 12th. Shaman Gisburton qualified 16th. Want to give him a shout out because this is the best I've seen him qualifying on oval so far this year outside of the super speedways. I'm telling you, he's been getting a little bit better on the qualifying side of things. Qualifying side of the top 10, of course, last week at the Roble actually won the polls. As a matter of fact, 
got his first ever cup pull and first ever Xfinity pull. Seems like Call might be starting to turn the ship around just a little bit because they are showing a little bit more speed, at least for SVG. And he outqualified his two teammates, Josh Williams and Daniel Dye. It was only about a tenth and a half off of AJ Allmendinger. So he's continuing to show that improvement and qualify inside the top 20 is very good for SVG. He needs to continue doing that. Really good job for SVG. That's his third straight top 20 qualifying position. So pretty good job for Shane Van Gisbergen. Austin Hill qualified 17th. A little disappointing. They had a, he made a huge mistake. Just the car was way too loose for him. I'm a little concerned about the speed for Austin Hill because he didn't show that long run speed that I was really expecting to see from him. He just wasn't that great, to be honest. He'll be starting in 17th. I thought he'd be a little better. He'll have some work to do in the race tomorrow night. Hopefully he can show that speed throughout the event. Don Lupton qualified 21st. That's about where I think Haley Deegan qualified, if I'm not mistaken, in the spring. So decent speed from the AM Racing team, one of their better qualifying runs. So good to see them actually show up with some decent speed. Uh, Josh Williams, 23rd. Disappointed, honestly. Expecting more from Josh Williams. It's just been a disappointing season all around as a whole. For the College Racing organization, he's definitely going to have some work to do. Daniel Dye, same thing. 30th, off by over a second and a half. He made a mistake in qualifying, which lost him a ton of time. But man, just no speed from the Call of Cars, those two cars especially. He's going to have some work to do in the race. And then the final, let's talk about Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed had to make an engine change for the race tomorrow night. He's going to have some work to do, unfortunately, that having an engine change. There's been a lot of engine issues with JGR. He said he did like the car and race trim, but unfortunately, the engine change is going to hurt Sheldon Creed throughout the race tomorrow night. So, that is the reaction to qualifying. What are the things that I expect for tomorrow? Well, I do expect some of the Fords to be strong. I think that Riley Hurts and Cole Custer are going to be very fast. I like the speed from Cole Custer. He had the fastest car in the 10-lap run. He's going to be quick. The JRM cars show some really good speed in the 10-lap average. Show some really strong pace. I think they're going to be fast in the race. I also like the speed a little bit from SVG, at least in the 10-lap average at a 19th best. But I do think he'll get up front for the most part by the end of the night. I think the race is going to be very interesting and see, and pretty exciting to see how everything plays out. We'll see how the extending race ends up going, but it's going to be very intriguing to see how the race ends up going tomorrow afternoon. So, that is going to be today's special breaking news report on Xfinity Series Qualifying. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support my Patreon as well. Let's go to that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. Your thoughts about Xfinity Series Qualifying? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. And congratulate Brandon Jones on winning the poll. Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Tomorrow morning on the channel, see a NASCAR Silly Season update on the channel. You're also going to see reactions to Cup Qualifying. You'll see the Xfinity Series Race Review tomorrow night and also Shane Van Gisberg a video most likely. Then, of course, on Sunday, you'll see the starting lineup video for the South Point 400. And you also will see the Cup Review for the Southern the Race and also most likely an SVG video as well. Got a lot of great content dropping this weekend that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.